Have you ever wondered how AI actually learns? Behind every smart machine, there's a mathematical trick called gradient descent. In this video, we'll break it down step by step so that you can finally understand how it works. Imagine you're hiking down a mountain blindfolded. You can't see the bottom, but you can feel the slope under your feet. What do you do? You take one step at a time, always going downhill. That's exactly what gradient descent does. It finds the lowest point of a curve, step by step. Gradient descent is an optimization algorithm used in machine learning. Its job is simple, minimize the error or cost function. In other words, it helps models improve predictions by adjusting parameters in the right direction. The cost function is like a scoreboard. It tells us how bad our model's predictions are. A higher cost means poor predictions, while a lower cost means better predictions. Gradient descent is the method we use to lower this score. So how does gradient descent decide the direction to move? That's where gradients come in. A gradient is like the slope of the curve. If it's steep, the algorithm takes a bigger step. If it's flat, the step is smaller. But wait, how big should each step be? That's controlled by something called the learning rate. If the steps are too big, we might overshoot the minimum. If the steps are too small, it takes forever to reach the bottom. There are different flavors of gradient descent. Batch gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent, and mini batch gradient descent. Batch uses all the data for each step. Accurate, but slow. Stochastic uses just one data point. Faster, but noisy. Mini batch is the balance, using small groups of data. Think of it like learning a new skill. Batch gradient descent is like reading the entire textbook before practicing. Very thorough, but slow. Stochastic is like practicing after every sentence. Chaotic, but fast. Mini batch is like studying one chapter at a time. Efficient and practical. Gradient descent is everywhere in AI. Training neural networks, powering recommendation systems, optimizing self-driving cars, and even making voice assistants smarter. It's the silent workhorse of modern machine learning. But gradient descent isn't perfect. It can get stuck in local minima, like a valley that isn't the lowest one. It can also oscillate if the learning rate isn't set right. That's why techniques like momentum, atom optimizer, and adaptive learning rates are used. So to recap, Gradient descent helps AI models learn by taking step-by-step -step moves downhill, minimizing error. It uses gradients to choose direction and the learning rate to decide step size. Different variations balance speed and accuracy. And that's gradient descent explained. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI and machine learning breakdowns. See you in the next video.